Greetings from New Denver, British Columbia, in the heart of the Slocan Valley. The Valhalla Mountains are behind me, and Slocan Lake is being fed by Carpenter Creek that you can hear in the background. For today's 60 Seconds of Philanthropy, we're asking the question, how can I leverage my charitable contribution? So with that, 60 seconds on the clock. Before we can talk about how do you leverage your charitable contribution, we should probably get an understanding of what it means to leverage your charitable contribution. The way that we look at leveraging is through the lens of the four T's, time, talent, treasures, and ties. These are the assets that you bring to the table in any charitable uh, transaction. So leveraging your time and your talent is really about using your expertise and amplifying the stories of the organizations that you're supporting. So with regards to time, uh, it might be using things like Instagram or Facebook to tell the story to a wider audience. In re with regards to your talent, it's specifically using your expertise to grow the capacity of an organization or the system in which it's operating. The most common way to leverage your treasures is through matching and challenge grants. We hear about these quite frequently. It's when you put in some money and then you tell the organization that you're supporting that they need to match those funds. Or you work with an organization where they have to bring in the majority of the money and you are committed to topping it up to closing out the raise. Um, the ties part is really where it gets interesting for leveraging because that's when you're actually bringing your whole network together and you're figuring out how best to not only tell the story of the organization that you're working with, but uh, how to solve the problems that they're trying to address by using your entire network's brain power to get there. And also there are other resources. Leveraging is about looking at the resources that are on the table and actually uh, amplifying those resources. So with that 60 seconds of philanthropy, I'm Gina Rothstein and I look forward to seeing you at the next episode.